It's time for the van tour. Let's go. So we got some removable carpets. Wipe your feet. Let's work my flip flops. Got the fridge all strapped in. That's my diesel box where I carry my uh, spare tank of diesel. I also have a siphon for the diesel, a few extra bits and pieces. That diesel tank is for uh, my uh, diesel heater, as well as filling up the van when I run out of gas. Uh, I've got my diesel heater in here. It's kind of hard to see. Vinyl floor I put in. Got that for free. Data booster. So we got the fridge. Coleman stove. My brother made that for me. Not sure what it means. <laughs> I think it means don't. I think it means don't be stupid. Those are the wheel wells on each side. I made it solid, you can sit on it. This mattress pulls up. Got all my food in this cooler, all my kitchen supplies in that one. Everything's strapped in for obvious reasons. Everything lifts up. Made the bed out of two by fours. Got my fan. Storage, uh, storage compartment up top, storage underneath the bed. Walls are all plywood. But like a very light, light blue, it's pretty much white. It's my electrical, Jackery, big mess. It's got my buried treasure. All my valuables in here, a little bit of cash. Place to uh, hang all my shit. This drawer is miscellaneous. And it's just all kitchen supplies and stuff. Sponges, paper towel, toilet paper. I also strapped the jackery down a little bit. I can do a better job, but everything basically falls. Made a little compartment underneath the uh, tub where I store all my toiletries. It's kind of hard to get at sometimes. Like, I don't know, like I could have made it a little bit shorter here. Nothing falls out, that's for sure. Inside my tub, got a portable toilet. Best purchase I've ever made for this vehicle. Had to use it so many times. Two water containers here. I've got two more water containers over there. I've got like, so those are each like 24 liters and the blue ones are 20 liters. It's like 88 liters, I think. Might be wrong on the math. It's a lot. Got my washer machine with uh, my clothesline and some clips. Works pretty good. And this is my sink. Use my sink up there. And my rinse down there. It can be pretty difficult. Got some half decent, uh, I guess it's like a vinyl fake tile. As you can tell, I did the, gr the grout work myself. As you can see, <laughs> just a little cheap vent. Uh, I don't have any windows in here, so it only works when I have the uh, doors open. Just gets rid of some of the excess heat, or when I'm cooking with the Coleman stove. This thing's great. Like it sits right on the fridge. Uh, that fridge takes up a lot of power. I haven't been using it recently, um, but I did notice when I had it really full, it really holds. Um, holds its temperature pretty well. The less things you have in it, the more it drains the battery. I've had my Jackery like killed like three times and then I'm like, screw it. I'm not using the fridge anymore, but we'll see. Maybe I'll start using it again. I'm just gonna leave it here for now. Let's go to the back. Spare tire, tools, tools, extension cords, battery booster. Some blocks, more tools, chair, outdoor gear, fishing rod.
that's my van. It's not uh, super high end or anything. Yeah, I did everything myself, worked pretty hard on it for maybe about a month. Cost a few pretty pennies, that's the cost. Wood is expensive nowadays, as many of you may know. But I did everything myself, so it's, uh, it was a bit cheaper. A couple thousand, that's for sure. Plus the cost of the van. Invest a lot into this sucker. And it's been actually very, very comfortable. The only parts that were a little sketchy or uncomfortable is that some of the places I stayed at, at night, which were unpredictable. And anywhere from uh, smoke grenades to cops basically showing up to not even being bothered. Some of the most comfortable places were out in the middle of nowhere. It's the ones by the water where people always show up and uh, do things. Life has been very unpredictable, so guys, say it in this video. This could be a very short-lived adventure. This might be the end of van life for me. Maybe I'll do some more in the near future, but winter's coming. Things have been set in motion, with lots of moving parts. Things I would never have thought a week before they happened would ever happen, even a few days before. I don't know what the future looks like, but it needs a little bit more stability. So I'm still gonna make some van life videos for now, mostly informational. But uh, yeah, so I thought I should show you the build before anything drastic happens. God forbid I have to sell the freaking thing. That's why I'm making this video, because you never know. I might have to do it for the money or other reasons, but I do not plan on selling the van at this moment, but it is a possibility in the future. We'll see. It's a great van. I had my fun in Ontario. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. This channel isn't just about van life. That's just one small part of it. It's the beginnings is van life. I'm hoping to do more outdoor things, maybe some survivals, maybe like overnighters, more things up north, hopefully. Eventually I want to get like a homestead. That's what this channel is going to be all about. Not going anywhere soon, folks. Maybe in the van I'll go somewhere though.